Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to Stromy's Cove. Today we're going to be doing a five-year sim with the Toronto Maple Leafs to see if they can win a Stanley Cup with their young roster. So, let's go to edit lines here. We're in franchise mode. Um, this is their lines for year number one. Um, here we go. They have Marlowe, obviously. Um, I fixed up the lines a little bit, you know, check out some players that got traded and stuff like that. Um, here's their AHL team. I know some players, like, like. I don't even know if he's on the team anymore. But, um, that shouldn't really matter because it's the AHL team. Here's their defense. We got Riley Gardner, Zaitsev Hainsey. Obviously, super young team, Freddie Anderson and Net. And, um, yeah, so I'm going to quickly show you guys um, the rest of the prospects, and then we'll get the season started. All right, guys, so here we go. We're at proposed trade, and let's look at some of the top prospects. They have, obviously, Dmitry Timoshov, 19 years old, 71 overall, um, top of the potential. They got Reichel. They got Andrew Nielsen, Jeremy Bracco. You guys know the Leafs team. If, if you don't, then here's the team, obviously. Goalies, they have any goal center prospects? Um, not really. All right, and then here's their draft picks. Um, so they do have their first round pick, and they have Ottawa and San Jose's second round pick. So, um, obviously, everything's automated, guys, for the season. Also, if you look at their trading block in the in the left corner, um, they have Marlow, Hainsey, and a fourth round pick on the block. So they're actually trying to rebuild. They're actually not trying to win right now, which is kind of interesting. So they're putting those older players on the block. It says they're a rebuilder, but I don't really believe. I don't think they're a rebuilder. I think they can, you know, make a little bit of a push, maybe get first round, second round exit. So anyways, guys, obviously everything's automated. The contracts will be automated, who they sign, if they sign any free agents. Everything's automated. I'll see you guys at the trade deadline, and we'll see how good the Leafs are doing. All right, guys, we are back in the Leafs strategy, the seventh seed in the Atlantic Division with 54 points. They're not doing very well. We'll just quickly look at player progression, see if anyone's progressed a little bit. Um, so Austin Matthews went up by one overall. Nylander won. I mean, they're not doing very well. So I'll see you guys at the end of the season, see if they can maybe somehow make the playoffs, and we'll see... Um, the player stats and all that stuff. So I'll see you guys then. All right, guys. Start the year number one, and the Leafs finished with 72 points. They finished with 33, 43, and six. They obviously didn't make the playoffs. They didn't have a very good year. Let's check out the stats for this year. And um, in the whole entire league, they were um, the wow, the 27th ranked team. So they're gonna have a really good draft pick. That's some good news. Um, goals four per game, or couldn't score goals at all. Goals against per game, they were allowing tons of goals. They just played terrible all together. Let's check out the player stats, and I mean, you could just see 48 points is the leading score. That's pretty bad. JVR 25 goals, 43. I mean, like, look at this, guys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight players with 40 points. So that's pretty crazy, but. So they didn't end up trading Marlowe, and Marlowe is now an 82 overall, so he's probably going to retire or something. Morgan Rally went up to a 90, which is pretty crazy. So let's look at the goalies. Let's see, uh, Freddie Anderson was the problem. So Freddie Anderson, uh, 905 save percentage. Yeah, okay, so both goalies had pretty brutal years. Just a terrible year for the Leafs. Um, the only good news I can say is they're going to have a really high draft pick, and maybe they could bounce back in year number two and maybe even win the Cup. So I'll see you guys um, at the draft or at the next season. We'll see what, we'll see what the Leafs are looking like. All right, guys, so back I skipped it, but the Winnipeg Jets ended up winning the Cup. And so I'll see you guys at the signings, um, the contracts, and we'll see who the Leafs sign, if they sign any free agents, and we'll see. Okay, guys, so this is insane. The Leafs actually just won the draft lottery, so they're going to be picking number one. So I'll see you guys, and we'll see who they drafted and all that stuff. That's insane. All right, guys, so we're here at the player contracts. Let's check out who the Leafs drafted, and we'll see, you know, who's expiring, and then we'll just simulate and see what the Leafs decide to do. So... Um, let's go into this. So first, let's check out who they drafted. So let's go to. Um, all right. So who was the player? Okay. So they actually, guys, they actually drafted Nolan Patrick. So this is insane. The Leafs drafted Nolan Patrick, um, 72 overall, 18 years old, and let's see who's expiring. So, so they're gonna have to resign um, Zaitsev, all these guys, Marlowe, Hainsey. So I'll see you guys um, at the beginning of next season. We'll see if they resigned uh, whoever they resigned. We'll see if they signed any free agents, and uh, we'll see. Hanwell and Patrick string and stuff like that, so I'll see you guys then. Alright guys, so here we are at near number two, and the Leafs locker room chemistry is actually at 78%. So let's check out if they made any moves, let's see um, if they made any free agent signings, if they released anyone, so let's go to edit lines, here we go. And, wow, okay, so March, Mitch Marner grew to an 87, Nylander's an 88, Matthews is an 89, wow, this team's crazy. Seth Griffith grew to an 82, he's playing on the second line now, Bo Zach Reichel's an 84. Soshnikov, their fourth line, right wing is an 84. Wow, this team's crazy. Defensively, Riley's a 90, Gardner 86. They signed Jakob Kindle in free agency. They gave him a two-year deal, about $2 million a year, $2.1 million. Okay. They signed Scott, Scott Darling in free agency, one-year deal worth $1.465. Freddie's still on the team for another four years. This NHL team's looking super stocked. I think they can honestly win the Cup this year if they can just, you know, have a good year and things can go well. So, 
obviously they released Marlow, they released a couple other guys, and um, the team looks the team's looking really well. They have 91 offense, 90 defense, 88 goaltending. So I'll see you guys at the trade deadline, and we'll see how the Leafs are doing, and we'll see if they can finally win their first Stanley Cup in year number two. All right, guys, so we're at the trade deadline, and the Leafs are 35, 24, and 3. They're holding a wild card, and their division's extremely competitive, as you guys can see. They're the fourth seed in their division, and their record's crazy, and Ottawa's right behind them. Florida's not even far behind, so it's a tight playoff race. So Marner's leading the team in points with 51 and 62 games. JBR 48, Kadri 47. Where's Matthews? Right here. Okay, right here. 47 for Matthews. He's, he's tied for number three, so he's doing fine. 22 goals, 25 assists. I would expect a little bit more from Matthews, but you guys, I mean, you can't forget. He's only 20 years old, so um, anyways... That's about it. Everyone's kind of down here um, after Riley. Riley's having a really good year. Wow, 41 points, 62 games. as a defenseman really well. Let's check out the goalies, how Anderson and Darling are doing. Anderson, 920 save. Oh, no, that's, yeah. Anderson, 920 save percentage with a 2.49. There, anyways, guys, I'm a to the end of the season, and we'll see if the Leafs can get into the playoffs, and we'll see how they can do. All right, guys, so we're here at the end of year number two, and the Leafs actually did make the playoffs. They're the first wildcard team, and Florida was right behind them, 94 points. The Leafs finished with 95 points. Check out the player stats. Mitch Marner was leading the way with 66 points, it looks like, and 23 goals. Austin Matthews, 62 points. Kadri, 60. JVR, 60. Seth Griffith, wow, 57 points, 21 goals. That's pretty crazy. Um, so, you know, pretty spread out scoring. And, um, you know, obviously they finished fourth in their division. Their division was pretty strong, I think. So let's check the entire league to see, you know, if that backs up that. So the Leafs, yeah, the 10th best team and fourth in their division. So their, their division was extremely tough, obviously. And uh, we'll see how they can do in the playoffs. And it's going to be the Washington Capitals. So, um, back to the Okay, they still lost game number one. All right. So, let's see how they do. I'm just going to simulate all the way around number one. Let's see. Game number two. And, okay, they're going to lose again. So, they're down 0-2 right now. Let's see if they can make a comeback, maybe. Can they win this game in Toronto? No, they lose again. And I think, are they going to get swept just like in real life last year? And game four. Okay, they win. And, okay, they win again. No way. Okay, so they lose in six games, guys, and you're number two. So I'll see you guys at um, at the player signings or the draft, and we'll see how the team looks. All right, guys, so we are back. We're here at year number three, and um, I saw that um, while, while we were simming, I saw they saw, they re-signed Nylander, JVR, and they actually signed Mark Edward Velasic. So that's pretty major. Let's look at the team. They still got Marner, Matthews, Nylander, 88, 90, 88. These guys are still 21, 22 years old. And, I mean, look at this team, guys. I mean, they have Reichel at 86, Kadri's 87. Look at this team. And they, they also signed Yannick Hansen, so three years, 3.7. That's a little bit of a risky contract, because he's going to regress a little bit. But, yeah, like, I mean, this forward core is amazing. And let's look at the defense now. And there he is. They have Blast. Oh, they also signed Cam Fowler. Guys, this team is crazy. They made so many free agent pickups. Three years. That's a really good... The guys, this is crazy. Look how good this defensive core is. So this team, honestly... I think they could definitely win the cup this year. Look at Anderson, 88. So this team is honestly just insane. So stacked. Um, we'll see if they can finally win a cup in year number three. And if they win this year, I mean, I don't see why they can't win next year also. So hopefully they can win this year. Maybe they can even win two in five years. So guys, I'll see you guys at the trade deadline. And we'll see how the Leafs are doing. All right, guys. So here we are at the trade deadline of year number three. And the Leafs are somehow out of the playoffs. I mean, the record's not terrible. But I mean, it's, it's, this Atlantic division is so tough. So... Check out the player stats. Marner, 43 points. I mean, this team is stacked. I mean, they have, they have, they got Vlasic, they have Riley. I mean, you guys can see the stats. I mean, no one's really, the thing with this team is, look how even the stats are. For, from 20 to 43, there's like 17 players. Like, it's honestly insane. So, guys, I don't know if they're going to make the playoffs. Hopefully they can, because this team's amazing. I don't really understand the sim, but I'll see you guys at the end of the year. Hopefully somehow the Leafs can squeak into the playoffs. All right, guys, so I, I don't even know. I don't know what to say. I mean, guys, honestly, like, 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 let's just look at this team. I mean, I don't understand. I don't understand how they didn't make the playoffs, guys. I don't even understand. Like, I, I have nothing to say. I mean, look how stacked this team is. Fowler and Gardner. Look at the top six. I mean, let's look at... Did, did he, have a, he played well, guys. Guys, I have no idea, like, what happened. I have no idea why they made the play, why they didn't make the playoffs. This is obviously year three, and it's not going very well. Only one playoff, only time, one, only one time making the playoffs, first round exit, and six games to the Capitals. I mean, the division was tough. Let's check out. So they had 84 points. I mean, no, they still would have been like one of the last teams, guys. I have no idea what's gonna go on. I know they have Nolan Patrick in the system, right? Because they had the first overall pick that one year. So maybe, 
he'll be brought up for years four and five or year five. Anyways, guys, I'll see you guys um, at the start of next season. We'll see who they drafted and who they signed and all that stuff. So I'll see you guys there. All right, guys, I'm sorry I skipped it again, but the, the Blackhawks won the cup. So, yeah, the Hawks won the cup. All right, guys, so here we are at the start of year number four. As you guys can see, the stats went down a little bit. So let's check out why. Let's check out the Leafs team. And, um, okay, so the first line is still the same as last year. Nylander, Matthews, Marner. Marner went up, oh, actually went up to a 20, an 89 overall. It's still crazy. Matthews and Marner are still 22 years old. So, Reiko, Kadri, JVR are still the same. Um, and then, Okay, so now Timoshov is actually going to be playing this year. Along with Nolan Patrick, who's playing his debut here in Toronto. And on defense, Vlasic Rally, they actually lost Jake Gardner. So now they have Frankie Corrado. Yeah, Anderson and Bebo. So they lost, um, what's his name? Darling, I guess, but that doesn't really matter. Seth Griffith is the extra scratched. And let's look at the AHL team. And they have some good they have some good prospects. So, anyways, guys, um, I mean, this team should be a playoff team. But um, we'll see what happens. I'll simulate to the end of the, I'll simulate to the trade deadline. And uh, we'll see how the Leafs are doing. Alright guys, so here we are at the trade deadline, and once again we find the Leafs out of the playoffs. They're only up by three points because Florida's three points ahead, and they're obviously tied with Boston. So let's check out, um, let's check out the stats. Seems like they're all kind of like in the middle, but there's no like point per game score. Or there's no, no one really standing out. I mean, look at this. Like there's a bunch of guys, 40, 35. So I mean, I guess the top line's having a good year. I mean, but it's just. The problem with this team is there's no clear leader. Not, I, I thought that'd be Matthews, but it doesn't really look like it. It looks like um, Nolan Patrick's having a good year, which is good. Same with Timoshov. So, we'll hopefully the Leafs can get things together. And they can finally, you know, make the playoffs again. Because they've only made the playoffs once, like I've said millions of times. So, similar to the end of the year, hopefully they can make the playoffs. We'll see what happens. Guys. I, I don't even know what to say. I mean... Guys, I don't even understand this, honestly. I mean, like, they didn't make the playoffs again. Guys, look how good this team is. I don't understand. Okay, well, is Vlasic still on his deal? Okay, he is. Alright, guys, well, I don't know what the hell to say. I'm gonna simulate... Obviously, they didn't make the playoffs. So, this is this was year number four. So, we have one more year. The Leafs are gonna have to, turn, they're gonna have to make the playoffs, and they're gonna have to go all the way. Alright guys, so the Winnipeg Jets have won the Stanley Cup, and uh, yeah. Alright guys, so here we are at the start of the final season, year number 5, and let's see how the Leafs are looking. So, the first line is obviously still going to be the same, I mean, Matthews and Marner aren't even growing, same with Nylander, they're not even growing, but second line is the exact same, Nolan Patrick now is at 87 overall, so maybe Nolan Patrick, maybe he can help lead the team with Austin Matthews, guys, I don't know, I mean, the team kind of looks, looks a little bit the same. Yeah, they picked up Jared Cowens. That'll help, you know, solidify the top six. Um, I mean, guys, who's this? Tyler Parsons. Oh, he's in the flame. So, guys, um, the team's pretty much the same. I mean, other than the fact that um, Nolan Patrick grew to 87. So, it's the final year, guys. I'm not going to touch anything, like always. And, um, I mean, let's see if they can do it. I mean, you never know, right, guys? So, I'll see you guys at the trade deadline. And, um, hopefully they can finally win the Stanley Cup. Alright guys, so here we are at the trade deadline, and as long as nothing crazy happens, the Leafs are finally going to be making the playoffs, they're the number one seed in the in their um, division, and uh, let's see the player stats, Morgan Riley is leading the team with 58 points, and only, oh my god guys, Morgan Riley is a 92, guys, he's almost point per game, okay, this is finally when I'm blinking, okay, Nylander 54, um, Mar uh, Marner 48, Matthews, okay, so guys, this looks like to be, their best year yet, obviously. Where's, uh, where's Nolan Patrick? Here he is. He's at 35 points. Okay, not bad. But for 88 overall third line center, that's pretty crazy. Anyways, guys, so obviously this team's performing really, really well, and they're finally gelling and stuff, so hopefully, as long as nothing crazy happens, they should make the playoffs. So let's see what happens. Alright, guys, so in the last year, the Leafs did not choke themselves out of the playoffs. They're the number one seed. Guys, finally, I've been waiting for this. Okay, Morgan Riley, 81 points. Guys, Morgan Riley was almost a, pretty much was a point per game. That's insane. 92 overall defenseman. Crazy, guys. Um, where's Matthews? Matthews, you guys can see the stats. 53 points. Matthews really hasn't been playing that, he hasn't been playing that great in this Leafs sim, but it's all right. Nolan Patrick, 44 points. I mean, guys, look at all the goal scoring. This team's just insane. Let's check out Freddie Anderson. I didn't check him out the whole entire year, but um, Trey's doing just fine. 87 overall, 925. He actually had an amazing year, so... Good job, Freddy. Um, we'll just check out the Lions one last time just to...
Maybe we'll do best lines. I don't know if the computer's changed it at all, but in the first round, I think they'll either be playing um, Buffalo. I think it'll be Buffalo, right? So let's go. Let's go best lines. Is Patrick gonna be playing on the second line now? Yeah. Okay. So Patrick's gonna be playing on the second line now. Um, and I mean, the team is pretty much the exact same as when the year started. Just players progressed a little bit. And uh, guys, can they finally win the Stanley Cup? I mean, I I'm hoping because I mean I've been waiting for this. <laughs> this is year number five. So in the first. Um, first round they're playing the Columbus Blue Jackets. Maybe last time I was rushing the Sims. So let's do game by game. Game number one in Toronto. Let's just win. Good. Let's take a 2-0 series lead in Toronto and then we could, we could lose one away. That's perfectly fine. Let's just win this game. Okay, fine. So now we gotta win these two. Because I don't want to go down 3-1 or I don't want to be tied 2-2. Come on, we got to win this game. We have to win this game. Come on, Toronto. Let's go. Oh my god, they lose again. Guys, this is crazy. They're down 2-1. Alright, come on. Come on. Uh, in Toronto. In Toronto. In the ACC. Let's go. Not the ACC, they changed the name. Social Maker right now. God damn it. Okay. Guys, they're down 3 1. This is the final year. I, I honestly can't even believe this. Here. I think, should we go into it? Let's go into it. Let's go. It's really up to this day. Guys, this is honestly insane. I can't even believe this. I mean, the team is so stacked and they can't even. First period, down to. Okay, not down. Okay, they're up 2 nothing. They should win that game. Okay, good. So, the series is tied. No, they're down 3 2 now. I don't even know what I'm saying. Alright. Game six, guys. Here we go. In Ubi in Columbus. Yeah. Guys, if they can win this game, anything can happen. I swear. I have a theory that, like, after the first round, the sim gets really, really good. So let's go. Let's go. Okay, crap. Okay. I think that's over, guys. Unless we can get an early goal. Matthews, Marner, Nylander, someone. Morgan Rally, 81 points. Someone. Someone score a goal. Okay. Timoshoff. Let's go. Let's go. We need one more before the five-minute mark. We need one more before the five-minute mark. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Someone. Matthews. Guys, I think this is over. Okay, leap sick? No way. Come on, let's go, let's go. Come on, please, someone. I, I slowed down the sim. Oh, I thought that was us. Okay, that's it. Well, guys, this was just brutal. Honestly, the Leafs couldn't even get past the first round in the five-year sim. Obviously, this is EA Sports' sim, and we don't know what's going to happen in real life, but this could be the case because, you know, the Leafs, you know, they have a past tendency to choke a lot of stuff, choke a lot of leads, you know, be the better team and lose, so... We'll see what, I mean, that's the end of the video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed, um, kind of a fail. I mean, you couldn't get, couldn't pick up past the first round and, uh, the whole entire video. But if you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave a like, um, comment some more scenarios I'll do. Maybe, like, for example, can this team win five and, not five, three in a row. Um, but anyways, guys, thank you guys for watching. And, um, it's been Stromy's Cove, and I'll see you guys next time.